It's Alex Farrell on Red Carpet Radio. Thank you to the unknown DJ. Don't know where he's gone. He's just slivered off. We don't know where he is. We don't know where he lives. I want you to tell me about your New Year's resolutions. Go on, let me know what they are. I'll tell you what mine was for last year, okay? It was for not paying for parking. And it's really worked, although sometimes it has gone wrong and I've got a few tickets. I do understand if you're at a festival and there's a big fat banner in front of you and you can't see the stage, that will be a bit of a problem. Why not check me out on Facebook? I've got a few photos on there. Um, One with me and John Suchet from Going For Gold. I was on that show a while back. I've also been on The Weakest Link, um, but I've got no pictures up from that. There's so many toilets. I don't think Tamworth's ever seen this many toilets on its castle grounds. Red Carpet Radio. Redcarpetradio.com. You're better. Music internet station. Alex here backstage on Red Carpet Radio. Hello, introduce yourself. I'm Neil from Everybody Looks Famous. I'm Chris from Everybody Looks Famous. And I'm Jack Hardy from uh, Double Time Heroes. And I'm Jack Webster from Double Time Heroes. I like think about that. Uh, <laughs> and now, how have you all enjoyed the day? Uh, yeah, it's amazing. It's more, actually really great just to see all the other artists, right? Probably the best thing I've ever oh, yeah, enjoyed in my life. Great gig, but it's good to see all the other artists, yeah. man. It's I really, really thought good. I'd be intimidated when I walked out, but it was just amazing seeing the crowd. You just really get into it. It's been <laughs> awesome, man. The, the amount of people out there, and they're all going crazy. It's been great. You did four songs, didn't you? Yeah, yeah it's, it's really good. It's a shame we only did four because you do four, yeah. and then you and then you then you want to do more, and then it's uh, it's all over. And it's a bit annoying like yeah, that. We wrote but a new song we wanted to yeah, play, it, but we yeah. did a cover of Kasabian. Why did you choose that one? That was that was when me and Tom went to see uh, Oasis and Kasabian was supporting, and they played Empire, and it was just such a good song. We were like. We yeah. must cover that. We so, played it about the bands and we were told that yeah. we play it so well before we do it and apparently today we played it. Yeah, the I managed to kind, so. manage kind of like said that we should uh, cover it yeah, and uh, we apparently did. We nailed, <laughs> I've been told that we nailed it today, the best we've ever played it, so I'm happy yeah. with that. Nice one. And have you ever done Battle of the Bands? We have done Battle of the Bands. We played it this year. We got to uh, the semi-finals, but we couldn't play the semi-finals because yeah. my man Jack Hardy was uh, away on holiday at the time, so we couldn't play it, which is a shame. I don't know, it's a bit weird. There's so many toilets. I don't think Tamworth's ever seen this many toilets on its castle grounds. We're here with Matthew. Uh, Matthew, how are you enjoying the day? Yeah, I think it's uh, absolutely brilliant. Thank you very much. Now, I think that this uh, this has really gone well because the Tamworth people have really come out and shown force, haven't they? Oh, I totally agree. I think it's a brilliant thing for the Tamworth Society, Tamworth Council, and for the Tamworth people. I definitely think we need one next year as well, yeah. So, Alex Fowell here again at the Midlands Music Festival. I'm backstage and had a nice chat with Andy Abraham, um, our former Eurovision entry, and also uh, Chico. Um, Chico is lovely, wearing a bright uh, purple shirt and a trilby hat. Lamar has been ushered past me, and also Blue. Alex Fowell for Red Carpet Radio, your better music internet radio station. It's been really good, I like all of the acts. Yeah. It's really been amazing. Yeah. Rock on! It's Alex Farrell on Red Carpet Radio. Joe, how are you? I'm very good, thank you, Alex. You're a pantomime expert, aren't you, really? 26 years now, so, yeah, so you just get used to it. It's, um... You have to set yourself a pace at the beginning because uh, it is a marathon. It's not a sprint, a panto run because we're doing like, 70 odd shows overall. So you have to um, pace yourself or else you'll never make it, to be honest. Definitely. And you did seven years, was it, with Leslie Grant for a while back? I did seven years with Leslie. That was a long time ago. I've not done work with Leslie for about seven years since I've worked with Leslie now. 1987? Here, New Faces? New Faces, yes, that was 22 years ago. I also came back here in 99, did the Royal Variety Show. And I came back here uh, after I did The Jungle and did uh, two years Panto, and then I came back with the producers last year. So it's one of my favourite venues, for, just for the New Faces uh, connection, really. Definitely, and it's a real good pantomime venue as well. It's, a, well, it's the leading pantomime venue in actual fact. We're number one in the country, so, yeah, it's always good to come back to Birmingham. Certainly. And what's your favourite pantomime role? I, I like models. To be honest, uh, with the part that I play, I'm just a lead comedy role, so basically it's always the same part with a different costume, you know, whether you're, Cinder- whether you're in Cinderella or whether you're in uh, Jack and the Beanstalk or whatever it is, you know. Um, it is exactly the same part. It's just a different name and a different costume, whether it's, you know, it might be a... Uh, if you're doing Aladdin, then it's uh, wishy-washy, do you know what I mean? So it's, it's buttons, it's muddles, it's the same character, basically. Ever thought of any serious acting or was pantomime your, your limit, really? No, no, I've done quite a few serious bits of, as well. I did The Producers, which was not exactly yeah. serious role. I did Rose and Quentin Guildenstern are Dead. I did The Nerd a few years ago. Uh, so, no, I've done quite a few bits. I did a film a couple of years ago called 
um, dead long enough. So, no, I've done quite a few serious roles as well. Do you prefer pantomime to, say, stand-up or your serious roles? No, what's really good is the diversity of work I do, you know, because pantomime only lasts six weeks of the year. The rest of the year you could be doing television, you could be a musical, a play, stand-up, whatever it is. So uh, I don't have a preference on anything as long as I'm doing decent work, Alex. Thank you, Joe. Cheers, mate. Redcarpetradio.com Your better music internet station. Hi, Alex here. I've just left the studio, but I've just remembered I've got to shout out a few people who are listening today. Um...